Hi, I'm Akasha and I'm currently working as a designer and a travel photographer. I'm also a Canon EOS Youth Ambassador. To date, I've travelled to about 37 countries and I did a lot of the travelling when I was studying overseas. And I'm also going to be sharing something that a lot of people have been asking me about. So tune in and don't forget to subscribe. Ooh, ooh I practice this. A, I'm determined. So whenever I see something that I want, I try my very, very, very best sampai orang dah tak lain dah. Number two, I'm a dreamer. I mean, you know, you gotta have big dreams, even if they don't make sense sometimes. And three, I'm quite curious. If I'm really curious about something, I try to figure it out till I get to the bottom of it. Okay, I've traveled to 37 countries. Uh, to name them, oh my god, um, ha, huh, Australia, Japan, Korea. Thailand, Cambodia, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Malaysia counts like it. Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka, France, Switzerland, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Turkey, Greece, UAE, Oman, um, Palestine, Jordan. Oh my god, okay, wait, I'm determined to do this now. Qatar, Iceland, Ireland, UK, USA. Wow, I can't count anymore. Portugal, Spain. Egypt, I think 37 countries, but how many have I counted? 39, you counted 39. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. One of the biggest, biggest life lessons that traveling taught me was that the world is so much bigger than your problems. The world is so much bigger than who you are and what you're concerned with and everything that people expect from you. It's nice to step out and remind yourself that there are bigger things happening. I always check out the couch surfing websites and the Airbnb websites just to check out what the locals are doing. TripAdvisor is good too and always check flights at least two months in advance because that's the best time to buy them. And book flights on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Keep a tab on the on the promos, put your notifications on. How do I stay safe? Make sure that somebody knows where I am at all times. Like I will tell them like this is what I'm going to do today or this is where I'm going to be at this time. Always have your hotel details with you. Make sure that the receptionist sort of knows that you're there, that you're staying there. So if you go missing for a bit without checking out, then they know you're missing. Try to minimize the brands and the super flashy clothes unless you know you have an occasion to go to. I think it really helps you gain confidence. When you are assured that you can sort of take care of yourself, carry yourself around, mingle with people who, you, who are essentially strangers, you come back to a more solid self. So we're finally done with all the questions. I'm gonna show you how I pack. One of the things that you really need to remind yourself of when you're traveling is to try to pack as light as you can. So I have a luggage with me and we're gonna pack for contohnya a very a sort of cold destination. So what I normally do with like the thicker jumpers is I tend to flatten it out on the bottom because it takes up way less space. This only works if you have less than three, four jumpers. Because if you have more, they're gonna like just pile up and be thicker. You flatten it out, and with normal clothes, I tend to just roll it. Wait one second. Always, always also have a pair of pajamas, even in your carry on luggage, in case you get stuck somewhere. So if you're packing, the essentials are at least two jeans, one spare leggings, one spare t shirt. Bajutido, you always have to bajutido. How can you sleep with the clothes you've been wearing the whole day? So you tuck it in, just push it in. One of the things I really practice when I'm packing for my travels is I tend to plan my outfits in advance. And it also really helps to have a color palette to work with. Contohnya, like, if you see all this, it's all very basic navy blue, grey, white, black palette. But I also always have like something that really pops, just to change it up a little. And all of my inner stuff, like all the girly girly stuff, and the thermals, the gloves maybe, I put it in a, a satchel, which also doubles up as a laundry bag. And this one, we just tuck it in. Ta-da! So that's that. All rolled up. An additional jumper. So you lay it out. You tuck it in. So it just, it just neatens up and holds everything in place as well. And like knitted jumpers rarely crumple. So that's the close part. I've perfected this into an art. So what I'm about to share you is years of experience and knowledge. Number one, which is one of the most important things that people tend to overlook is a folder with all of your details all of your flights all of your passports all of your visas all of your hotels all of your plans and bookings print them out just print them out and have it in a folder in your carry-on 
When I lost my passport, uh, I lost it in US and US has very strict visa regulations. If I did not have all the photocopies, I would have been stuck there for so long. This is my bag of electronics. I have like all sorts of like laptop chargers, adapters, spare batteries because I'm a photographer so I tend to have all my spare lenses as well. One big thing about travelling and packing up is you have to compartmentalise. So I wrap that up on top to me. Fold that up properly. Also in your hand carry, all coats in your hand carry because it's so easy to grab. So coats there. And another thing is toiletries. In the EU, you're only actually allowed one clear bag of toiletries and all the liquids can only be less than 100 ml. So one bag for things that I really need like makeup, moisturizer, perfume, all my skincare stuff that I can just take out when I'm in the plane and just dab on. And another one which has all the medicines, shampoos and stuff. Always bring like Panadol plasters when you're traveling because it really helps. I also tend to travel with my laptop. My camera, very good, handy travel camera that's very lightweight. And my laptop, all tucked in here. Always make sure your laptop's at the top of the pile and your toiletries easily accessible because when you go through security, you're going to have to take them out. That's most of the tips. I really hope it helps. So if you have any additional questions, you can ask at the bottom of this video or you can DM me on my Instagram at akashadena. I really hope after this, you pack and travel better, smarter and explore the world and fulfill your curiosities. Bye!